Vivo has launched its new X80 series of flagship phones in India, and this is the top-end Vivo X80 Pro. Now, this is a phone that's packed with a lot of cool camera tech, camera features, but is this a good flagship phone? Let's find out. So this is the new Vivo X80 Pro and this is how the phone looks. This has an aluminium frame and a matte glass back with a whole satin finish and looks and feels premium, no doubt. The attention grabber though is the big and bold camera setup, which I will get to in a bit. On the front, you get the same beautiful AMOLED panel as the X70 Pro Plus. So it's a 6.7 inch E5 AMOLED display with the high WQHD Plus resolution. Now there is one change though, the X80 Pro is probably the first phone to come with the latest LTPO3 tech, which is said to improve battery life even further while still dynamically changing the refresh rate quickly from 1Hz to 120Hz. Now I'm yet to test that, but the display does feel very, very smooth and it's obviously high in display, so everything looks nice. Also, it is an HDR10 display and it's supported in apps like Netflix. The front also has a big and fast 3D ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. I mean, it has a larger zone and I love how quick it is to add a fingerprint. It's also very fast, as you can see. Coming back to the design, the X80 Pro is a fairly big and hefty phone, although it does have a premium feel to it. As for the features, it has stereo speakers which sound pretty good. For haptics, it has the X-axis linear motor, which actually brings very nice feedback in places like zooming in the camera app and even works well in games with the vibration effects feature in game space. Apart from this, the phone does not have a headphone jack or micro SD slot, but it has flagship features like the IP68 rating for water and dust resistance and support for 50 watt fast wireless charging. The X80 Pro also has the flagship specs, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage. So yeah, top of the line specs really and if you're wondering, the phone has a liquid cooling vapor chamber. Now the phone performs like a flagship in the benchmarks here, the scores in Antutu, Geekbench, 3D Mark, and yeah, these are good scores. The phone also feels like a very smooth and fast phone in real world usage. The performance, be it while using popular apps or even gaming is good. Now do note that the phone has the Vivo V1 Plus chip, which brings enhancements to the camera as well as gaming. So basically the V1 Plus chip can push games to 90 FPS using MEMC aka frame interpolation while also lowering power usage while gaming. Now enabling the game frame interpolation option did make the game feel a little more smoother but I'll have to check if it actually makes a difference in the FPS. Anyway apart from this I did run a couple of CPU throttling tests and it actually did fairly well as far as Agent 1 is concerned so yeah good. Now these specs and features are good but it's clear where the focus is with the X80 Pro. This. The X80 Pro has the latest Samsung GNV 50 megapixel primary camera with OIS, the IMX598 48 megapixel ultra wide camera with horizon level stabilization, a 12 megapixel IMX663 portrait camera with the gimbal OIS system, and an 8 megapixel periscope camera with 5x optical zoom and OIS. Yeah, this thing has top of the line cameras for every camera feature. Plus, the cameras are covered with the Zeiss T Star coating, which is a high transmission optical glass, clearer shots, and less flares. Now, all of these cameras are high-end and they take some very cool shots, but this is more of a videography focused phone. So let me talk about the video features first. So first up, there's a new Zeiss cinematic mode in video. This shoots videos in 1080p 24fps and an aspect ratio of 2.39 is to 1. And unlike the usual portrait video mode, this has a more unique bokeh effect and I like how it turns lights into oval flares. Now this works with the main camera, the portrait camera and the front camera. Now the cinematic mode is cool, but there's also a natural mode which shoots in 16 to 9 and has a more natural bokeh effect if you prefer that. Apart from this, the video mode also has different cinematic color tones to choose from. There's nostalgia, retro, classic, mute, autumn and more. The X80 Pro and X80 also come with full-fledged Pro video mode which lets you control everything with shutter speed, ISO, white balance and I like that you can even shoot in log. There are also features like focus peaking for more precise focus, exposure feedback, which is very useful. The X80 Pro also comes with OIS auto reset, which works with standard and ultra stabilization. And this makes sure that the camera takes full use of OIS in every single shot. The phone also comes with improved time lapse and you have all these different modes to make sure you choose the perfect speed for your time lapse video. Apart from this, the very cool 360 degree horizon level stabilization is still here and it's still very cool and kind of mind bending. Now, I already told you about the Vivo V1 Plus chip and that brings AI video enhancement to the cameras. See this icon in the video mode? This is it. In daytime, it enables video HDR and in low light, it enables super night video mode. Here's a video in daytime with AI video enhancement off and on and you can see the difference in the background. Now, here's a video with super night video off and on and you can see the difference it makes with the overall exposure. So the video features are very cool, but the Vivo X80 Pro is also a very capable smartphone in terms of photos. 
I mean, the new GNV sensor has been customized by Samsung exclusively for Vivo, and this reduces noise and shots while having a wider f1.57 aperture for capturing more light, indoor light surroundings. I have been taking photos with this camera, and the results are actually very good as you can see. The X80 Pro also takes very good portrait shots, and the portrait camera has a gimbal which results in better night portraits at 2x. Here are some nighttime portraits I have taken, and while it's not perfect, these shots do look pretty sharp and nice. I also like that there are different size styles in portrait mode. There's cinematic, Distacon, planner, and more. The periscope camera with 5x optical zoom is also pretty good in the few shots I've taken, and the ultra wide shots also look pretty crisp and nice. Plus, there are all the different photography features. There's a new AI group portrait which uses multiple face detection and draw HDR algorithms to make sure all the faces in a group photo look sharp and good. There's also Zeiss Natural Color 2.0 and AI Perception Engine for more accurate exposure and white balance in complicated scenes, improved night mode, and XDR photos for harsh backlight scenes. Yeah, this is a feature packed camera phone. Moving to the battery, the X80 Pro has a 4700 mAh battery and it comes with this 80 watt flash charger in the box. On the soft front, the phone has FunTouch OS 12 on top of Android 12 with a promise of three major Android updates and four years of security patches. As for the pre-installed apps, there are a lot of them which is kind of weird in a premium phone like this, but they can be uninstalled. Now, before I conclude things, I just want to mention that along with the Vivo X80 Pro, Vivo has also launched the X80, which is also a very interesting flagship phone. I mean, here are the specs of the phone and there are two things that stand out. This is the first phone in India with the Dimensity 9000 chipset. And this is also the first phone with the IMX 866 primary camera. Yeah, that is interesting, right? Do you want us to make a separate video on the Dimensity 9000 in X80 or the IMX 866? Comment down below. So to conclude things, the Vivo X80 Pro is a proper flagship phone, but it's also a camera beast. See, the Vivo X80 Pro is packed with some of the coolest camera taken smartphones, and I like that the rest of the phone also has proper flagship features. There's no cost cuttings. Now, I don't know the price of the X80 Pro or the X80, so I will reserve my judgment, but yeah, these are definitely exciting new smartphones. Anyway, I will pin the price of the Vivo X80 Pro as well as the Vivo X80 in the comments. So let me know your thoughts on these new Vivo flagship their camera features in the comments section down below. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Here's how to shoot with two cameras together on iPhone. All you have to do is install Double Take by Filmic Pro and...